Hello, my name is Alan Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com and a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. I'm going to go live on February 13th at 4 p.m. East Coast time on Zoom to do a Q&A, and I want to show people how some of my clients are saving thousands and thousands of dollars every single year. Now, the Spendthrift Trust is legal. It's copywritten. It's in the IRS tax code, 643B. I, I, only way it's going to change is if Congress changes the tax code. It can't be changed any other way. It's been in front of the United States Supreme Court on two different occasions. Both times, the Supreme Court has honored the Spendthrift Trust. The trust comes from England way back when King Henry VIII got in trouble for chopping off his wives' heads. He started the Church of England so he could divorce his wives. Hey, murder a few ladies, now figure out how to divorce them. He would go ta tax the lords and ladies of England. They went back to the Magna Carta. It's contract law that came to the colonies while we were still part of England. Well, the law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023, before we were a country. That's pretty amazing. This is how long it's been around. Now, most people do not realize the current tax code went into effect February of 1913. It was only supposed to be around for about six years. To, uh, the federal government was broke, and we were going to get into World War I. The very rich families of that time, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, and the uh, Rockefellers, made sure they could be saving taxes. So they put this into 643B, like Bravo. I have two pages of case law to share with you when you make an appointment with me. I have three articles from Forbes magazine to prove to you this is all true because so few people have heard of the trust ever before. Now, I'll give you a little bit of history about this. There are over a million attorneys in the United States. Only 4% of the attorneys are trust attorneys. Every, every other attorney doesn't really study trust. There's a reason why 97% of all trusts sold in the United States are what my mom and dad had and what Susie Orman talks about on TV, the family trust. There's nothing wrong with the family trust. It just avoids going through probate when you die and then dissolves. This is not your mom and dad's trust. This trust is going to save you in four very important ways. Uh, get ready. Number one, save you federal taxes. Not You're not tax-free. Only certain federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. It goes uh, that way. Number two, if you have an LLC or an S-Corp, I can do research on you online. I can go to your Secretary of State website or your Corporation Commission and get all the information. And get, uh, uh, that's why 40% of all LLCs are sued every year. This, they won't find out what you own, where you own, or how you own it. Number three, talking about lawsuits. The old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. If everything's in the trust that can't be sued, I myself, I, 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 I'm, I'm worth nothing. That It becomes a frivolous lawsuit. Beautiful thing. And number four, if you're not aware of the Treasury Department's Corporate Transparency Act for 2024, if you have either the business trust or the beneficial trust, you are shielded from doing this paperwork. Uh, again, this is part of the anti-money laundering uh, 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 bill of 2000. Uh, if you don't do the paperwork, there's some harsh penalties. If you don't do the paperwork, if you're an established LLC, doing business as, or a corporation, you have until January 1st of 2025 to do the paperwork or be charged uh, $10,000 and or two years in jail. You're going to jail for not doing paperwork. Are you crazy? If you start a new LLC in 2024, you have three months or 90 days to do the paperwork. If you do the paperwork and it's done incorrectly, I just talked to uh, uh, one of my clients, uh, potential clients. He's a doctor. He did not put his nurse on the paperwork. Guess what? He got charged over $9,000 because he didn't do it correctly. That's that's just, that's wrong, I think. So we're going to talk about the business trust and the beneficial trust. There, uh, There's two different trusts. You can have one trust or you can have both trusts. I personally do have both business and beneficial trusts. The U.S. Business Trust is for U.S. business owners and 1099 income earners. You will save at least 90% on your federal income taxes year after year, generation after generation. And in 43 states that have state income taxes or personal income taxes, you can save those too. My clients are saving thousands of dollars. I'm going to share my screen right now. This is a client that contacted me last February. So it was almost a full year. He's in Chicago. He does uh, sells uh, commercial lighting. When we, when we talked, he only worked three days a week. He uh, is divorced. He filed single. Um, he, in 2020, that's 2022, he uh, made $185,000 working three days a week. So that puts him at 32% tax rate. With uh, the Spendthrift Trust, the Business Trust, or the Beneficial Trust, you don't file a 1041 tax rate. He's going to take the $38,032, uh, times that by nine. Most of my clients are saving 90% to 95%. You do not want to be at zero. He's going to save $34,228 in a full year. 
but he's in Illinois. He's also going to save 4.95% on that $185,000. So an extra $9,157 uh, uh, with the Spendthrift Trust. So altogether, only working three days a week, he's going to save $43,385. He said jokingly to me, why don't I just start working five days a week? With this money, he can do, use this to uh, pay off his mortgage, buy a new house, buy a new car, give to charity. Uh, it's his money to do whatever he wants. Now, the business trust is for U.S. business owners and U.S. 1099 income earners. I'm going live February 13th, 4 p.m. on Zoom. You can register at www.thetrustisyou.com slash save. Then let's talk about the beneficial trust. The beneficial trust is for all U.S. investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're going to save the following taxes. You will not pay short-term or long-term capital gains when you sell something at a profit. Short-term capital gains are for a year or less. So if you're wholesaling, if you're fixing and flipping, if you, you know, whatever you're doing there. Long-term capital gains are a year or more. So if you're selling a business, if you're selling a house, a personal house, if you're married, you get to take out $500,000 in capital gains. So usually when it's your personal house, you don't have to worry about capital gains. If you're an investor, that's when you have to start worrying about this. Um, I just helped a, a gentleman who sold his family restaurant. Uh, they, uh, he and his brothers built the restaurant. They sold it for $3 million. He and his wife, she, he's 69, she's 64. For their retirement at 15%, they have $460,000. At 20%, they have $600,000. Six figures for their retirement. That's, that changes their retirement completely. They're moving down to Florida to be near their daughter and their three grandchildren. Now, interest income, this is for all passive investors, people who are in REITs, R-E-I-T, real estate uh, investment trusts, people who are doing uh, creative financing, seller financing, subject to deals, maybe you're doing the first strategy, or I have notes. Also, if you're a Forex investor, listen up, you get taxed twice, interest income and capital gains. So th this is why you need the trust. Dividend income, if you're in the stock market, if you are doing day trading, if you're doing commodities trading, futures trading, if you're doing options trading, listen up, you get taxed 40% on profits uh, uh, for a year or less and 60% on profits for a year or more. You need this trust. And then royalties. Royalties, if you're an actor, an author, a songwriter, if you are a musician, if you're in the NFT world, NFT artist, NFT real estate, NFT crypto, if you have intellectual property, if you have, um, I get paid at, uh, this is copyrighted. I get paid copyrights for selling the trust. I don't pay any taxes on this because I have beneficial trust. Um, if you have middle rights and everything else, I want to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors save federal taxes legally, just like the uh, rich people do. And I found out about this, and I want to teach as many other people. Please reach out to me if I can help you save taxes too. This is legal. It's copyrighted. It's in the IRS tax code. The law firm I work on behalf of does the Benson Financial Trust, and in 75 years, not a single trust has ever been audited. I'll be honest, one trust was examined by a senior uh, IRS agent back in 2018. He took three hours, and then he signed off on it. So please, listen, uh, you know, uh, set an appointment, get some information, and make a decision if this is good for you or not. Take care, y'all. Goodbye.